Hello everybody, my name is Jennifer Maker. Today we're going to take a bow and make really easy hair bows on the Make It Easy Craft Align Challenge. Did you know that you can make your own hair bows? And not just any hair bows, you can make fun and unique hair bows like this mermaid. Where's the mermaid one? Like this mermaid tail one. Um, and also this really cute fabric one. Come here, Alexa. So she's got it on today. And it's so cute. Look at that. It's like a little flower, isn't it? So these are so simple and you can make them yourselves. It's just four easy steps. Let us show you how to do it. Step one, get the design. I have free designs on my blog that you're more than welcome to use. Let's head on over there now so I can show you where to find them. So here is my blog and I keep all of my free files in my library. So if you go to the navigation bar at the top of the screen and click on enter the library, it takes you right into there. This is free. You don't have to pay for this. And once you're in here, you can browse through all of my files. Sometimes that's easiest. It's a good way to discover things. But if you're looking specifically for the hair bow pattern, I recommend you search the page with Control F or Command F and type in hair bow. And it comes up right here. So DIY hair bows, SVG, DXF, and PDF. So you can cut this in many different ways. So you want to click on it and it will download to your computer. Now, once we have that, you'll have to unzip it, of course. If you're not familiar with how to unzip files, to download files, upload them, all that sort of thing, not to worry, you're not alone. I have a whole tutorial on how to do this at jennifermaker.com slash svgs. So for step two, we cut it out. Of course, you can use scissors if you want to cut this out, but we're going to use our Cricut because it's accurate and faster, and I love Cricut. So let's go to Cricut Design Space. This is what we see when we first are in Cricut Design Space. And you want to click on New Project over on the left, and then click on Upload, and you're going to click Upload Image. You want to click Browse, and then look for the file that you downloaded. Now, it'll look like this. It'll be called Hair Bows Jennifer Maker. And inside the file, once you've unzipped it and opened it, you'll see three folders, uh, SVG, PDF, and DXF. For Cricut Design Space, we always want the SVG files. So you open that, and there's actually three different uh, designs in here. We have a fabric flower, um, general hair bows, and mermaid mermaid tails. So I'm going to click on general hair bows and click open. It'll give us our preview. Looks good. So we click save and um, that is right there. Let's also upload the mermaid one as well and we'll work on those two today. There we go. There's our mermaid tail. So we click save. Now we have both of those files uploaded and we just select both. We can hold down the shift key to get both of them and then click insert images and all right, so here are our files. Let's move these around just a little bit so we can see better. So, and I'm gonna make the screen just a little bit smaller. So here we have the general, these are the general hair bows, and you can see there's lots of shapes here. These are, these ones at the top here are more traditional bow shapes, and then we have lots of cool things to really, ma really make them look interesting. So like wings, angel wings, and butterfly wings, and tails with hearts, like ribbon tails, and these rectangles that you see in the middle, these are the things that we wrap around to create the bow look. So I will show you all how that works. In the second file that we uploaded, the mermaid tails, you see we have a couple different shapes. I'm gonna click on group and so that I can move these around and show you. So we have this one, which is might seem odd, but I will show you how that works. And we have one with a tail connected. We have a tail all by itself. And then we have a bow that um, is basically a double of this one. And then we have its rectangle. There we go. So now your goal is to decide which of all these bows you want to make because there's a lot here. You could, of course, cut them all, <laughs> um, or but you're probably going to want to start with one. And if you want, if you're new to making hair bows and want to start with something really basic and simple, these pink ones up here are going to be your best bet. And you can just hide everything you don't want. So we can select all of this and group it and hide it. And for this one, we can ungroup and we can select these and 
hide. We can group all. I like to group things and hide them. And same for over here. And we can group these and hide those. So now we would have these three to cut. Now, of course, if you want them all to be the same material, say let's you're going to make them from really basic cardstock, you want to select everything and go to color sync and make sure that you have everything to the same color. You just click and drag everything onto the same color like that. Let me make this a little bigger so make sure you can see. So now everything is magenta and it'll all cut out in the same color of cardstock. Of course, if you don't want that, we can just go backwards and click undo and we can have three different colors of material, which indeed is what we have done uh, for this tutorial. So when you're ready, you click make it and it'll separate out into your mats for you. And you, by the way, you'll notice I have it set to my maker, but we can cut this on either a maker or an explorer. Um, you could also cut it on a uh, joy. So really you can do this on all of the crickets. All right, so when it looks good to you, click continue. This is where you need to choose the material. So the different materials that you can use are, you can use just plain old cardstock. Yes, that's right. These here, this is cardstock, and this is cardstock. Aren't they pretty? It's just cardstock. Yes, if you wore these and it rained, they would get a little soggy. But you know, if you're just inside or you just want to have fun, cardstock is simple and inexpensive and you probably have it already, right? And I want to make sure that for the craft along folks are using things they have at home. So this is just 65 pound cardstock. You could use something thicker, whatever you have. All right, so that's one option. Another option is faux leather. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Look at that beautiful. So this is already backed, you know, it's like faux leather is pretty thin. And this is very, really very thin. And it's got a fabric backing already on it. Um, it's just the way that it works. Um, it's not real leather. You could, of course, cut these from real leather if you had the maker and were using the rotary blade. But we're doing faux leather mostly. Aren't these cool? So this is all faux leather and it's mermaid scales or, you know, well, they're fish scales, but we're going to use them. We're, we're calling them mermaid scales. So this is, and you can see that we made this one here with the, um, the mermaid faux leather. Isn't that pretty? All right, so that's faux leather, so you can cut it with that. So this is also faux leather. It's got the fabric backing on it. And what's nice about faux leather is that these are gonna last a long time, right? If it rains, you're gonna be okay. So it's more like a traditional bow and lots of pretty colors. We can use party foil. Uh, party foil came in last week's mystery box. This is one made with party foil right here. So is this one, right? See, so um, th these are very sturdy. And, um, you know, if it rains, it's, these are not going to. <laughs> so this is a great use for party foil if you're ever wondering what on earth to do with party foil. You can make bows for yourself or for a favorite person in your life. Okay, so these are our options for our material options for hair bows. So let's go back over to Cricut Design Space. Now, if you're just doing cardstock, it's really easy. You just click medium cardstock and you'll be fine. If on the other hand, you are doing faux leather, let's talk about faux leather because that confuses a lot of people. Okay, so if you're using a Cricut Maker, so you click on browse all materials and then you search on faux suede. And you want to use this material if you're gonna cut the faux leather on your maker, okay? And you'll be using your rotary blade that came with your maker, that's really all you need. So it says right here to load the rotary blade and this is the best setting for faux leather on the maker. But if you're using the Explorer, you wanna make sure that your dial is set to custom. So we're gonna click on browse all materials, type in genuine leather and we select this. There we go. Now um, note that it says to use the deep point blade. So that's the blade with the black housing. And there we go. Let me show you how to put all of this together. Oh, wait, one more thing. I need to show you the best way to cut your faux leather. So let's go back over to my work surface. So here is one of the tricks to cutting faux leather. You need to use a strong grip mat and it can't be 
a really old and busted one, it's got to be sticky enough. This is important, okay? So the next really important trick to cutting faux leather is to put it pretty side down on your mat like this. Okay, that way it will actually stick to your mat. This fabric side is not going to stick very well to your mat. It's also going to leave a lot of residue on your mat. Okay, so that's tip number two, pretty side down. Tip number three is to use painter's tape or masking tape to keep it in place. Um, and we just want to tape it along all of the edges. Of course, make sure that you, the size that you've cut is the right size for your um, for your bow, okay? And you just wanna tape it all around. Be careful not to let the tape hang off the edge of your mats because it can get stuck in your rollers. So you need to get, you need to, you know, be not so messy <laughs> when you do the sides there. And um, what you can do is you can, of course, move your design over so it's in the center of the mat so you're not having to worry about this side. Or you can, I've done a lot of things. I've moved it over or I've cut this um, in half or I've used a little less. Do not wrap it around the edge here. You'll be tempted to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tape it like this. Make sure that I'm not have any of my tape hanging off the edge. So it's on here just like this. Now, if we go back to Cricut Design Space. So here is the matte preview screen that we always see before we cut something. So does everyone know that you can click and move these? You just click and drag and they'll move anywhere and cut in that location on your mat. And you can turn them like this. And if you hold down the shift key, they'll turn in nice, neat increments. So if we place it right here, it'll cut right here. See? And that's really convenient. And it'll be right in the center of this material. So that is how we do faux leather without it slipping and sliding all over the place and not working properly. Step three is to put it together. So let's put our hair bows together. Hot glue, hair clips, your cut patterns, your finger protectors, and I think that we're good to go. So first, let's put together the simple bow. This is a lovely one, and now it does have hearts on its tails, and if you don't want that, you would just do these two parts. Very, very simple. So, so we have our big bow piece here, and we have our little one. So they're, they look very similar. This is the big one, the little one. They kind of look like eye masks or goggles, don't they? And then we have our heart tails, if you choose to use those. And then we have our, we'll call this the tie piece. All right, so to make the simple one, you would have just these three pieces. But we're going to add this heart, these heart tails, because it's really very easy to do. All right, so we will start with the big piece. We're going to flip it over. And what we're going to do is just fold in these two tabs right here and glue them. See how if we fold them in and glue them, we have a bow. See how easy that is? It's awesome. All right, so I'm gonna put a finger protector on so I don't burn myself. Be safe, okay? So I'm gonna put a little glue right here and here. So again, we're using hot glue and I'm, we're going to just bring these two tabs in just like this and they're going to meet right in the center and we're going to press down just like this try to get them uh here we go that looks good just like this and hold them there while the glue sets and it's hot glue so it doesn't take long for it to set which is nice just if you're not using finger protectors be very careful you can use something else to press down on it if you're, um, you can always get someone else to help you too if you're feeling uncomfortable using hot glue. So that's base, that's it. Like, so now we have the beginnings of a bow. Isn't that cool? Okay, so now we need our little one. So here is a little one. This is made of the glitter faux leather. And really, it doesn't even feel like faux leather. It's almost just like a glitter fabric, but it's very, it's not like fabric. It won't fray. It's very nice. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. 
as we did with the other one. So we're just going to take our hot glue gun. We're going to put a line of glue right in the center like this. You don't want to have too much glue because it'll smoosh out the sides. And we just fold them in, each tab in, until they meet in the center. You want to get them, there we go, that looks good. Just in the center, just like this. You want to, you know, you don't want it to see the fabric from the outside, so this looks good. And just press it lightly, being sure that you keep your fingers from getting burned. All right, so now we have this bow piece and this bow piece. And what I like to do is keep the seams on top, and you'll understand why. So if we put them like this, we have a lovely bow, right? And we can right away, we can just take this piece here. This is our tie piece, right? And we can wrap our faux leather tie piece right around and glue it right here. And voila, we have a bow and a very pretty bow. <laughs> uh, but we want to put this heart tail on and all we would do for that is just add it to the back so we are layering them. And the thing is you can layer all of these and create your own look, which is really neat. So we just put all the layers together just like this, and then we wrap it around and glue it like this. So I wanna make sure you got things pretty centered before you actually glue. That looks almost centered, there we go. That looks pretty good. Doesn't that look nice? Look at that. So we're not quite done, we haven't glued it yet. So let's do that. I recommend that we glue each layer so it's more secure. So um, we're going to start with the full the heart tails. And I'm gonna put a line of glue on the back. And technically you don't have to do this, but I def I really think it makes it more likely to not, you know, it's being worn in the hair, right? So there's always the possibility that um, it might be jostled around and stuff. So just make sure it's centered and press down lightly while it's setting. And then we do the next layer of glue, next line of glue. We just need a little dab really for this center part. And again, I'm putting the seams on top, but you don't have to. Whatever this, whatever side looks good, that's the side you should do. You can center it on your bow, press down lightly Make sure that it's good before it sets. Don't worry about the fact that we can see that little bit at the bottom there because it's gonna get covered, right? There we go, that looks great. Now we wrap this around, and this is what really makes it look like a bow, is this little tie. And we're going to glue it in the back here. So first I'm going to glue one end and then the other, just to make sure that it's really secure. So there's one end. I have a lot of glue there. Too much glue. <laughs> you really don't need all that much because you're pressing down on it. And the second tab, or this, you know, the second part of the tie gets glued down as well. And we just press until it's set. And there we go. We have a lovely pretty, very pretty bow. And to get the barrette, because of course it's not a barrette, it's not a bow unless you can wear it. I mean, I technically I suppose you could just put this on a package, but these are hair bows, so we need barrettes. So we all, we, this is so simple to do. And in fact, we can look at this one. All we do is just glue, let me see if I can hold that up for you so you can see it. We just glue the bottom of the barrette, the straight, the straight side of the barrette to the underside of the bow. And then you can then use, you know, you just put it right into your hair like this. So easy. This is the best kind. Uh, these are so much easier to put in and take out in my opinion. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to apply it to right to um, the underside of our barrette. And we don't want too much because it will spread when we set it down. That looks good. And you have to decide which side you wanna be putting it into your hair. 
it doesn't matter too much for um, the this heart one but when you do the mermaid tail one it does matter more because you might want the mermaid tail to be on just one side of your head or whatever right so um, you can see you can see here that where you put this clamp matters for the little tail right but for this bow it doesn't really matter all that much there we go and that is it we now have a lovely bow all ready to put in someone's hair. Isn't that so pretty? Look at how pretty that is. It's so sparkly and shiny. And what's so cool about making your own hair bows is that you get to pick the colors and the styles, the size, everything about it. You get to customize it to your specific needs. I love that about making our own things. It's the best thing. You get to do whatever. So if you have someone who loves mermaids, you get to make mermaid bows. I mean, I don't think I've even seen these. <laughs> I mean, these are just so darn cute, okay? All right, so this was the simple bow and with the heart tails. So let me show you how to do the mermaid ones. Okay, so we're going to make this one. So let me show you what this one looks like. This is a blue and silver one. There we go, is it gonna focus? There we go, oops. So it's blue, isn't that a beautiful blue? It's like an iridescent blue faux leather. So pretty and a silver glitter faux leather. And I got both of those from Amazon. <clears throat> All right, so this one looks like a fish already, which I think is really cute. So this is really simple. It's not really that different from the bow that we just made. It just has, you know, we just assemble it. Um, in a little slightly different order. So we're going to bring in this um, tail, <laughs> this bow shape. I don't know what to call this. But we're gonna call, bring in this side and glue it down. So again, be careful with your fingers. We're gonna glue it right there. And then we need to bring in our other side and so this is the other side. It's separate because it's silver, right? It's it it's done uh, a little different. So we're going to glue this end here to this part of the tail, just like this, and press that down. And then we're going to fold it in, just as if it was all one piece. We fold it in. We're not really folding it, of course. We're just sort of curving it in. There's no crease there at the edges, and we press down so that it sets. And this, um, again, is faux leather uh, in both cases. So faux leather. It's not. They're both fabrics. Um, it's not actually glitter paper. It's faux leather, which is really cool because if it rains, it's going to survive <laughs> instead of using glitter paper. So we go okay so now we have this super cute bow of course we're not done yet we need to wrap our tie around it so let's put a little dab in the center here just to make sure it stays in place this is probably not necessary but this one has two layers so okay i'm going to flip it over and we're going to put a dab of hot glue right here and one more right here see how easy these bows are there you could really make a lot of bows you could have a bow for like every day of the year <laughs> you could you could literally just make them for every outfit that you ever have um, all right so there we go we have a super cute bow and then to put the back on I get you'll want to decide do you want um, your tail to be like which side of your head are you going to put your bow on um, if it's going to be in the back it probably doesn't matter but it does matter like if you care what when your tail is so just keep that in mind when you're putting your barrette on and you do the same you either want to put it on this way or this way all right so 
that is the mermaid tail. Now there's another mermaid tail here, and that's this one. So let me show you how that one works. Here's the really pretty pink mermaid tail, and it has a little tool there at the end. You see that right here, the little tool, the little tool fabric, right? So it's very cute, um, and it's a different way of doing this. So let me show you how to do that one. Let's set these over here and put this one here. All right, so for this one, we have a separate tail that looks like this. We're going to cut a piece of tulle, and it needs to be about four inches by six inches, roughly. It doesn't have to be exact. And uh, fold it. we're gonna fold it in half lengthwise like this too. And then we have this piece, which is the big, big sort of goggle looking piece, right? And then of course we have our tie. So these are the pieces that we use to make the uh, mermaid tool bow, mermaid, mermaid tail tool bow. So I'm sure you know what to do already, but I'm going to go through it so you can do it. So first, we're going to bring in our two bow sides and glue them with hot glue. We want to do our best to try to get them even. That looks good. And the other side as well. There we go. Awesome. Cool. All right, so there is our bow. Nice, simple, very pretty bow. This is really pretty faux leather. All right, now we have to, we're gonna do this part last like always. The, the, the tie always comes at the end. So now we need to pay attention to and figure out our tool. And you wanna fold it in half so you have this is the edge that will be on the outside right here. Um, you can crease it with your fingers, okay? So you're going to just kind of bring it in, kind of pleat it so that you have a more manageable length of, and, of tool and you sort of fan it out like this, okay? And we're going to, the glue is going to actually seep right into all the layers, so don't worry about that. And then we're going to add this piece when we put it on. Okay, so that we're not touching our hot glue. So we're gonna put the glue here and we're gonna go extend it more than usual. So we make sure the tool has plenty of glue to hang on to. And then we're going to place it carefully and do our best to kind of smoosh it in and be careful with your fingers. You wanna get it, much of it in as you can at the edges so that it's contained in that little bit, that little part there, right? So it's not hanging off the sides. There we go, that looks fine. And then we're going to glue on our mermaid tail. So just a little hot glue right here. And we put it into place just like that. Make sure it's straight. That looks good. And press down. Cool, okay. There we go. So there we have our um, bow with our mermaid tail, and our little tool peeking out, and then we take a tie and we wrap it around our bow and we glue it in the back. All right, so we do one side and then the other. So a little glue and fold it over, press down until it sets, which with hot glue is really very quickly. That's the nice thing about hot glue. It's fast. It may not be quite as permanent as other glues, but for this, it'll certainly do the job. And then we fold it in and press. Just like that, isn't that cool? So step four, we're gonna show off our hair bows. So here are all of our beautiful hair bows that we've made. We have our super cute, mermaid tail bows they're just so very pretty it's so sparkly this is the faux leather and we have our really simple but very cute cardstock bows which you could make for any occasion whenever you need a bow here's our party foil bows very very easy also very durable 
and our fabric bows. To learn how to make the fabric rosettes, just go to my blog post at jennifermaker.com slash make dash hair dash bows for a step-by-step -step photo tutorial. So I love all of these hair bows. What is your favorite one? I like the puffy one. The puffy one, like the flower? I like the mermaid tail one. And I love how you can really just make whatever shape you want. You don't have to like have a traditional hair bow shape. The sky's the limit, really. So we cut all of these super easy on our Cricut. If you don't have a Cricut, remember we're giving one away every month over at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut giveaway. And we want to see your hair bows. Just go to jennifermaker.com slash Cricut crafters to share your photos. Tomorrow we are going to make paper villages and I cannot wait to show you how easy those are. All right. Well, until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.